The question is common enough. What are you doing tonight? In Lethbridge, a group of students utilizing social media have answered that question. So I was just sitting at home and I was on Facebook, Twitter, and I logged on and I was like, you know what Twitter needs? We need somebody that posts events. Like we have the traffic and we have the news, but we have nothing to do with events. So I was like, we just need students, like what students want. So I created Let Nightlife Twitter account and I just started tweeting and I used the hashtag Lethbridge and then I didn't promote myself at all. I just kept going and going and people added it not even knowing who was running it or what it was going to be. They just like, oh, this, this sounds like a cool idea. I wish I thought of it. So then from there, um, I realized that I guess not very many students have Twitter, so we should maybe move to Facebook. So I created a Facebook page, and then um, from there we kept the Facebook and the Twitter, and we kept going and going for a few months. And then right after Halloween, we got the domain name lethnightlife.ca. Um, skills that I learned at Lethbridge College helped me build this website. I used the CMS system, WordPress. There was a few of my friends I wanted to help, so we would just go around and just gather anything we could find, like drink prices or food prices or events that were going to happen. And then as it started to roll, then people started contacting us. People like Jim Brown, Director of Food and Beverage at Ezzy's. Social media is this valuable tool that uh, us as restaurants, hotel owners, nightclub owners, any sort of business, gives us exposure to a wider range of our clientele and customers. Going back to your Lethbridge nightlife, it, it, it's just amazing the responses we get of new clients actually looking at Lethbridge nightlife. Hey, I didn't know that was happening at this nightclub. Go check it out. So people would submit events and then uh, they started adding me on Facebook and emailing me like, can you promote this event or this event? And then from there, then people started asking me if we could hold contests and give away tickets and so now we post events and we post drink prices and we post like contests and everything and um, we are more in contact with the bar owners and restaurant owners now than we were at the beginning. Now local bar and club owners are starting to see the advantages that new media can provide their businesses. So instead of spending so much money on radio advertising, print advertising, it gives us a cheaper means to uh, show our product to a wider client base, which means we can take those costs that are associated with radio and print advertising and put towards to better contests, better promotions. They want to get their own pages and stuff, so, because they know what they're doing is kind of old school, like giving out cards and stuff can be beneficial, but it's wasting a lot of money and they want this, oh, it's free, so, teach me how to do it, but they don't know how. So they'll ask me questions and I'll help them out as much as I can. And they also take ideas from what we've done and they use it on their own pages, but they still like help us out. They still give us events and they haven't left us in the shadow because we were the one that's kind of started the trend on Facebook and Twitter. Like there's around five bars now and clubs on Twitter that were never on there before we started and mostly every single um, bar or club has a Facebook page now instead of a group and they switched over and none of them send messages to your inbox anymore so we did accomplish something and now we're working towards the next big thing. I get to see like the statistics of how people access the website and oddly enough a lot of people access it on their mobile device so in school right now, I want to learn how to like develop for mobile devices. So um, maybe in the future, uh, having like an app that people can download and get the information. So what is in store for Lethbridge Nightlife? Instead of using Facebook and Twitter all the time, maybe they could log on to the app and they could get the information that way. And then they could tweet it out to their friends and share it on Facebook. Being 20 and a university student, Marcel is using skills he's learned in school to get real-world experience. 
Well, being a student can be hard sometimes, like with your scheduling. So if you are passionate about it, then you're going to have time to do it. So if you're not passionate about it, then you're not going to have time to do it. But I want to update it, and I've had it for so long, and I want to get it up there and out there, and it's been successful.